Hi, today we're doing a very quick demonstration of an RFID data logging temperature sensor. Our setup is very simple. We have a standard PC running Windows 7, an off-the-shelf FIG OBID 13.56 MHz RFID reader. This is the antenna that's connected to the reader, and this is the data logger that we're going to be demonstrating. I set it up so I have a cold pack, and I started the demonstration putting the sensor on the cold pack. I then put it on to the hot water, and now we're going to read out the data logger. If you want to come on up and get a close shot of the screen, I'm going to press the refresh button. At that time, it is going to display the ID of the data logger and tell me that it is logging and it has the other information here relative to what's going on with the data logger. I'm going to stop the data logger. It's going to tell me that it can't be restarted. It says I successfully stopped it. Now I'm going to download the data. It's going to store it to this file name and that's I'll, I'll use that right there. It downloaded the data out of the data logger using the RFID interface. I'm now going to select that data logger and there is a graph of the data. I started off with the cold temperature on the cold pack and then put it on the coffee and then took it off again. This is in a logging interval of 10 seconds. And to demonstrate how easy this is to restart, I'm now going to refresh the data logger and I have the ID of the data logger. I'm going to start it. it. Tells me it's going to overwrite the data. That's fine. Now the data logger is starting. And this data logger is set up to log every 10 minutes. I'm sorry, every 10 seconds. We have two temperature sensors in this particular credit card data logger here. Um, and it tells me the maximum possible logs, which in this one is six, over 16,000. tells me how long it'll last and um, other data relative to the data logger. So now that the data logger has run for a few 10-second cycles, I'm going to stop it again. Now I'm going to download the data. There it's downloaded the data. Now I'm going to graph the data. There. So that's there were 10 second intervals, so that's uh, 30 seconds worth of data during that time frame. And also on this um, view, the data view shows how we have the ID of the, the unique identification ID number of the data logger, the two temperature sensors, and the readings. So all of the data is stored in a CSV file and easily imported into a database. This system can also be integrated into other systems to make it easy to download the data logger data directly into any computer system that's convenient. Thank you for watching our 13.56 MHz RFID data logger demonstration.